Hello, this is Nice Wander, uh, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Um, I have to mention all different kinds of things that uh, are top news stories that, uh, well, let me start with the Larson C Ice Shelf. Uh, if you haven't heard, because mainstream media doesn't seem to think it's a, a big deal, um, apparently, uh, a huge ice shelf is breaking off of an iceberg the size of the country of Luxembourg. I've also heard the island of Wales. Um, huge. And I guess because there's no catastrophic uh, uh, consequences immediately happening, or the next day, or something, or the day after, it isn't uh, considered to be uh, that big of a deal. That's a huge news story, and the major mainstream networks here in the United States should be reporting that on the hour, every hour. Top story, huge. Also, another huge story just gone. The Senate here in California, the state Senate, voted in favor of a single-payer health care plan for the state of California based on models that are not perfect, but obviously preferred because they're, the single-payer uh, health care plan model of one kind or another is part of the policy in the health care plans in many, many countries around the world. The United States uh, is one of the few and definitely the richest country in the world that just can't seem to go there because we can't afford it. That is not correct. We can't afford it. And it's top news, again, should be reported every single hour that Anthony Rendon, the chair of the California Assembly, blocked it. That's huge news on two accounts. You're not reporting the most important stories because those aren't important, apparently, to the people that you work for, I guess. That Princeton study 2014 that you never talk about, you can go online and Google it, as a lot of people have. Over 1,700 policies between 1981 uh, and 2002 were studied. None of them were consequential to decisions made by the vast majority of people, a real democratic form of decision making. Zero. Zero democracy. 100% oligarchy, technically. Because we also have things like, well, there were a couple of bills from the 70s, but in more recent times, Citizens United, and uh, opening the, the floodgates to throwing all sorts of private money into our government in <laughs> countries around the world that would be considered illegal. But that's okay here. Not a democracy, folks. In, first of all, my job for myself personally is to be enlightened. My second job is to be engaged. Once I realize what the actual facts are, and there's something I can do about it, then I get engaged. That's why I become an activist. That's why I do one, one of the reasons why I do the Now Man Show. I tell people, in an ideal world, the Now Man Show would just be about arts, entertainment, music, film, travel, fun, philosophy. You know, the kinds of stuff that would make up a new renaissance, which it does have and it will continue to have. But we also have to have this kind of content I'm talking to you about right now, repeated over and over and over again when it's fact. If there's something that we need to learn, we'll learn it and we'll add it to the mix. You need to know it. The Now Man Show on the Arroyo Channel in Pasadena, Charter Cable 32, our primetime slots Thursday nights at 8 p.m., also AT&T U-verse around the LA area and wherever else. You can catch it on YouTube as well, The Now Man Show, and there will be more websites through Eric Arte Media Productions very, very soon when more content will be streaming. The short-term solution for our economic crisis, 
I think one of the big ones is the uh, we've talked about on the show the universal basic income a couple of years or so like the pilot program in Finland yeah and then uh, people won't have to worry about getting their bills paid actually in Finland seeing that many people are more motivated to actually look for work when they don't have to worry about paying their bills and that's a natural thing why would we not care about our people why are we so ob obsessed with giving more to those that already have plenty I, I don't understand there's no logic in that wake up okay so the long-term solution worker self-directed enterprises as one of the main part uh, parts of the worker cooperative or cooperative uh, economy cooperative movement and those are where the the people make the important decisions together you do your regular job that you ordinarily would do but you're also one person one vote in making the, the most important decisions about what is done what's produced how it's produced where it's produced and where the surplus goes after the expenses are paid for instance those on a mass scale getting the kind of support even more than maybe the small business administration gives to um, small businesses to help them get started get them going that's the way to create jobs that's the way to help the economy that's the way to help the people that's a long-term solution there you have it in a nutshell in under seven minutes there's so much more but that's what I had to say by the way uh, on an up upside congratulations to Roger Federer fellow Swiss guy well I'm in a third generation but on my father's side American Swiss I guess uh, congratulations though to Roger Federer who is uh, I think from my uh, family's uh, home village he won the Wimbledon record number of times eight uh, and also gotta love this guy oh yeah oh yeah and more about that soon as well have a great day